Leah Helmetzeller, and she's our open carry gal, and they had an open carry event um, November 26th? November 27th at Nations Burger, and we had, 20, we had 75 people that showed up in support of gun rights because the Brady campaign, the anti-gun people, showed up to protest our event. It was supposed to be maybe 10 people at the event. It ended up being 75 because of the news media and that kind of coverage. Now, that becomes now a perfect opportunity to adjust for community service events. So we ran a blood drive, a successful blood drive. We had almost 30 people swamp the blood center and give blood that day. And we had uh, a successful toy drive where we turned into the Marines a very large load of toys. So these types of outreach create a positive experience. It outreaches to our community and gets more people involved with us in what we're doing. Whether or not they agree with open carry, most people will agree with community service events. Okay. Now, and it gives us the opportunity to educate people on gun rights and the fact that gun rights are constantly being impacted in California and we're just not seeing what's going on. Uh, what our organization will be doing starting in January is we will be conducting two meetings a month. We're going to have one in the San Jose area, one in the Concord, Walnut Creek, Pleasant Hill area right now in order to gather together minds in, in order to bring people up to the state capitol to start uh, lobbying to stop gun regulations and those impacts to our gun rights. Now, open carry in California is legal. It remains legal. I started lobbying on this. You do not need to be a registered lobbyist in order to lobby. You do not need to, if you, you have the right to petition your government, you have the right to question your government, you have the right to call them on violations. And if you know how to, one of the things that I do is I do civil rights. If you know how to, how to write a complaint, you can stop and slow down processes at city, at city halls all the way up to the federal levels. But, and I'm going to provide some information and links all, uh, that, I, that I drew up on the Attorney General's website. You can find how to get public records. You can find out what these people are doing wrong. Like the mail-in ballots issue. My mail-in ballot never arrived to my house. I had to chase that thing down. I went to the elections office in order to vote, and I found that they, they mailed it and I never received it. Where did it go? It almost invalidated my entire thing, but I insisted that my vote get counted. And while I was there, I noticed all the spaces around there were metered spaces, but it's supposed to be free to vote on that day, which means that was a violation. I turned that in. Okay, these are the types of things that you can turn in. I handled an issue in the city of Manhattan Beach with one of our open carry groups down there. There was a violation of the state constitution. And I'll tell you, our constitution is our friend, but we need to know how to force these people to follow that constitution. We had a violation of Article 11 of the state constitution in Manhattan Beach, where they delegated public land to a private entity without holding a public meeting. Now that's a violation of the Ralph M. Brown Act. So I turn that into the district attorney. District attorney calls me and says, I'm not going to do anything about it because I used to do this committee in the spare for 20 years. Well, that is now what you consider a conflict of interest. So I had to go up. Well, unfortunately, Senator Oropesa, who had passed away, was a senator, because that's normally who I would go to for advice on those things. You have the right to call these people and ask them questions and get help from them. So I ended up with Ted Lou's office, who is the assembly member. And he said, you go to the Fair Political Practices Commission because they violated their oath of office once they violated the state constitution. It's important that we all read our federal constitution, our state constitution, and understand what that means. If you have any questions, call somebody. You can call state agencies. I called the Attorney General's office. I called district attorney's offices. I called a lot of people this year. Uh, my mentor is from Gun Owners of California. His name is Sam Perez. He is going to be holding a seminar in January at some point to teach people how to lobby the state capitol. And we are going to be tagging along with that. He's an advisor to responsible citizens of California. Uh, I'm going to leave these in the back for hopefully some of you will be able to read some of the documentations. 
Um, I, would, I would say the Ralph M. Brown Act is very important to understand. So you can see when violations are happening. Um, the Political Reform Act. And I, and I also, there's sample letters. On the, the First Amendment Coalition has sa sample letters for how to make a complaint against the Ralph M. Brown Act. How to make a complaint against, um, how to request public records. Open carry, in case you don't know, if you if you can own a gun, you can legally carry that firearm. Now we have two choices on how to carry a firearm. You can carry it openly exposed with restrictions. You cannot carry within a thousand feet of a school zone, a government building, a um, a post office, or an in state park for right now. The other way is like this. I have a firearm in here with me with a loaded magazine next to it. Cannot be loaded in it. This is unloaded, it's locked, concealed carry. The other way to legally carry a firearm for your protection. Concealed, con, um, concealed weapons permitting processes are very biased in California, very hard to obtain. And there's a lot of problems in that and in many other areas of firearms regulations. We have to, what, what our job this year, what we are going to do is we are gonna start getting people up there early on the first firearms bill that comes out for the second for Second Amendment issues. We're gonna target the ones that are most important to our organization. You guys should also find one or two issues that are important to the Tea Party and attend the How to Lobby that Sam Paredes is going to put on and get up there to the state capitol, call, write, get an appointment. If you can't get an appointment, contact somebody like me, ask them for the legislative calendar and follow them to where they are going to be. You have the right to get a copy of their calendar to get an appointment. And that was the hardest problem that I was finding with these individuals with open carry. They could not get an appointment. So I personally took it on myself to go up to the state capitol twice a week. Most of the appointments I could get, they tried to redirect me to Solney, who is our senator. I said, no, I want to talk to this senator. And you have the right to access everybody. You pay taxes. For all of these things in our state to pay taxes in the state so you have the right for public input at every single level in the state you have the right to access all these individuals and you have the right to ask questions and when you get to the right people you'll get your questions answered and you'll find out exactly how to hold these people accountable yes sir reading the constitution is a very good idea but it comes it depends on what a judge says about a particular issue that's use it in me. So to help, help you read the Constitution, uh, some people may not be aware of Google Scholar. You go to the, the legal part of Google Scholar, and now you have a very powerful search engine to not only get Supreme Court in both the federal and the state, but uh, lower appellate court decisions. Normally, this is the kind of thing you need a, a Lexus or a Westlaw account, which is a law firm that is very expensive. Students is the most of them get free. Uh, so it's not quite as good as that, but it's almost, I mean, it's surprisingly powerful and very informative. So you can take a part of the state constitution and then Google that and see all the cases that have cited that. Right. You can also get a copy, a free copy, of the most recent version of the state and federal constitution for free at the state capitol in the basement. You walk in, go down to the bill room, if you're ever up there, and get a copy. I do every single, every single time that I'm there, I keep a copy in my van. It's not online? It's also online. You can, you can absolutely find it online. I should have included that link too. Okay, any other questions? Where do you reside? Where, I, I live in Concord. Oh. Are you a lawyer? I am not a lawyer. I'm an advocate and I'm a lobbyist. I have done civil rights, education, disability rights, um, health care, and insurance. I take on just about anything that annoys 